Reverse osmosis, or RO purifiers, remove the highest percentage of contaminants from water, including heavy metals. They are easy to maintain and relatively cheap. This makes them an ideal choice for kitchens and makes sure our tap water is safe and drinkable. Most RO water purifiers share the same basic structure, a water tank, a faucet, plus five filters encapsulated in a plastic shell, though most advanced models usually do not require a water tank. These days, RO purifiers come in different shapes and designs, depending on how the cartridges are attached to it and whether the unit is meant to go below or above the counter. Despite these differences, they all pretty much work in the same way. Water flows first through the so-called sediment filter to remove larger particles like sand, dust and rust. Then it goes through the activated carbon filters for removal of chemicals such as chlorine, pesticides and VOCs. Then up to the reverse osmosis membrane which removes virtually everything, heavy metals, viruses and minerals. Then onto the water tank for storage and pressure. Final stop is an activated carbon polishing filter to improve taste and smell. In traditional models, you need a wrench to change the filters and you will end up spilling some water on your kitchen floor. But most recent models come with a twist and lock attachment that makes it easier to change the filters and eliminates the need for tools. But remember that different filters need to be changed at different times. Take this traditional model made by Qinyuan. Its vertical pretreatment filters need to be changed every six months. The RO membrane is changing every two years and the polishing filter once a year. Unlike premium models, most low-cost purifiers, such as this one, do not have an alert system that tells you when to change each filter. So you need to set yourself reminders. If you fail to change the filters at the right time, your water just won't be clean. Now, let's have a look at the single filters inside our purifier, the pretreatment filters and the RO membrane. The pretreatment section can house different combinations of activated carbon, polypropylene, and ultra filter cartridges. Pretreatment cartridges also vary widely in quality and price. Basic sediment filters cost just a few RMB each and need changing every three months. An advanced sediment filter with graded density technology costs around 20 RMB, but you only have to change it once a year. On an annual basis, they cost about the same, but the graded filter is a lot less hassle. Now, the quality of activated carbon filters depends on two factors, the raw material they're made from and the process used to make them. The best ones are made with sintered coconut shell. The RO membrane is the single most important and expensive component. What are you paying for? Purity and flow rate. Cheaper membranes generally remove fewer impurities. In this table, we can see rates of contaminant removal. This is known as rejection rate. Low-end membranes tend to remove a lower percentage of contaminants, while high-end membranes remove more. Flow rate measures the quantity of water a membrane can purify in one single day. Cheap models can generally purify between 30 and 50 gallons per day. More expensive ones can purify anywhere between 100 and 200 gallons per day. Top-end manufacturers like Dow, GE or Torre have patented membranes that combine higher rejection rates with high flow rates, which makes them, of course, more expensive. But despite their many advantages, RO membranes have a few downsides. First, together with the bad stuff, they remove good minerals like iron, calcium, manganese. Second, they waste a huge amount of water. For every glass of drinkable water that comes out of your purifier, one to three glasses of wastewater go down the drain. Some models address this problem by using two taps. One is for drinking water and it runs through all five filters. Water from the second tap only runs through the three pretreatment filters, so there is no waste and it's good enough for washing your hands, your vegetables and fruit, but not good enough for drinking or cooking food. When you boil your water, you kill pathogens like bacteria, spores and viruses, but you also increase the concentration of heavy metals, which are then easily absorbed by your food. So it's important to have RO quality water, not just for drinking, but also for boiling your rice and vegetables. First, Make sure the RO membrane is from one of the top manufacturers in the industry, with a good flow rate, around 100 or more gallons per day. Second, choose systems with filters that need to be changed as less as possible. Once or twice per year is good, 
As a rule of thumb, the more often you need to change a filter, the lower its quality. Third, choose model with a wastewater ratio of 1 to 1 or less. Four, choose purifiers and cartridges certified by the National Sanitation Foundation or the Water Quality Association. Fifth, a digital display with filter replacement alerts is very helpful for reminding you when to change each filter.